right, thank you very much to the media and those of you that are joining us as we are very excited for PBC on Fox this upcoming Saturday night, live 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific time, live on Fox and also Fox Deportes. We are here for our main event press conference, but before we get to the main event, I want to give you some details as to who will be involved on the main card live on Fox as we have Two rising sensations that are teenagers. First up will be Vito Melnicki Jr., who's undefeated from New Jersey. He's training under the guidance of the legendary Joe Goose, and he will be in action. Also, Jesus Ramos, the knockout artist from Casa Grande, Arizona, will be in action as well. And then our main event, a super middleweight title eliminator. It'll feature Anthony the Dog Thorell, the two-time super middleweight champion of the world, going head-to-head. -head against Kyron Davis of Wilmington, Delaware. This is Davis's first jump here at 168, and he will be looking for the biggest win of his professional career. Saturday night's event is presented by Premier Boxing Champions and also promoted by TGB Promotions. The president of TGB Promotions, Tom Brown, is very excited and honored to be promoting this event and is no doubt looking to a showdown at 168 between Davis and Durrell. Now, without further ado, we want to welcome in one of the principals involved in the main event on Saturday night. This man is from Wilmington, Delaware, who is making his first foray into 168 pounds, having been away from the ring in about 13 months. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kyron. Shut it down, Davis. Kyron. What's going on, man? Well, tell us about how you're feeling heading into this matchup. We're just two days away. Uh, all of us are within the PBC bubble here in Los Angeles. But, you know, what is your mindset as we are two days away from your showdown? I'm feeling good, calm, uh, confident. So, Well, I'll say this before we get to your adversary. You look the biggest that we've ever seen you physically. Do you love fighting here? Or, I mean, do you like the fact of being here at 168? Um, it, feel, it feels comfortable. I say, I say, it do feel comfortable. Um, you know, we, it's, it's no stress on weight. You know, um, I'm just waiting. The weighing is just a formality. I just ready to weigh in and um, get that behind us so that we can get to the fight. I'm just kind of just relaxing and letting the time go by. All right. Well, we'll talk to you in a few moments, Kyron. Thank you very much. And now let's talk with his adversary on Saturday night, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific time, a two-time super middleweight champion of the world, Flint, Michigan's finest, always brings forth the fight. He's aggressive. He's exciting. And there's a lot on the line in the super middleweight title eliminator. Please welcome Anthony, the dog to realm. AD. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? How y'all doing? Well, how are you feeling heading into this showdown two days away, main eventing live on Fox against Kyron Davis? Oh, I feel good. I feel strong. Uh, I had a great camp. I know everybody says that, but this camp is uh, has been a bit different. So I'm just ready to go in there and, and, and showcase my talent. Uh, I think he bit off a little bit more than he could chew with this one, except in this one. Well, I want to ask and go to Kyron. What is your response to when he says he, you, he thinks that you bit off a little more than what you can chew. What do you want to tell Anthony Durrell? That's his opinion. You know, he got to fight me, though. So it's okay. That's just where it is. He got, we got to we gotta meet in the ring. So it is what it is. We could talk about it, but we don't, we don't really got to talk about it for him because we're going to be in, we got to get in the ring on Saturday. Anthony, how much are you focused on just doing what you do instead of worrying about what he's going to do? Because this is a new weight class for him at 168, but, you know, he looks big, he's strong, you know, clearly looks in impeccable he's shape. Fat. How much? He's fat. He's fat. He's, fat? He's, not, he's not big. He's fat. He ate up to that weight. He's not big. He's fat, man. He's a 160, 154 pounder. He, he knows better. He knows what he got himself into. He can collect that check and go back to rapper. Kyron, what do you want to do in regards to the response to that, you know? Again, we could talk all day, but, um, you know, it just sounds good. No, you know what I mean. You know, you know what I'm bringing. <laughs> it's okay. You know what I'm bringing. 
<laughs> you know what I'm bringing. All right, we can talk all day. It's all right, That's collect the check, go back to rapping, man. Okay. It's all right, maybe you can walk me out one day. I like it, I like it. Kyron, does that does he get you agitated when he says stuff like that? Oh, yo, right, bro, bro. I'm just so calm. I'm just so ready and so calm. It's not a big deal to me. We could talk all day. Um, that was kind of antics don't get under my skin. I'm so calm. I'm so ready. Hey, D, when you see someone that is, you know, that that you know, he's not looking to match you from an animosity standpoint. What is your takeaway from his demeanor? I mean, like, I mean, I don't take away nothing. He, he can be calm. It is what it is. I mean, like I say, I respect every man that get in that ring. But once he get in that ring with me, that shit go out the window. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to. I'm ready to go to war. I mean, he know what I bring to the table. At the all end, right, I got him being quiet. He can be quiet all day. He'll be quiet on that canvas too. Real quiet. Well, I got one more question for the both of you, and then I'm going to go turn it over to the media for questions. I'll go with Kyron Davis first. Kyron, for you, this is a super middleweight title eliminator. We've also heard reports that David Benavides and Ronald Ellis in a few weeks will be a super middleweight eliminator also. So theoretically, the way you look at it, the winner of this fight will have to fight more than likely the winner of that fight. When you know that you are getting closer to a potential world title shot, uh, how much does that mean to you heading into Saturday night? I'm just focused on the fight for real, for real, to be honest with you. Um, everything else is going around. I haven't been reading nothing. Um, I, I don't know who's fighting who for what. Um, I just know that February 27th on Saturday um, at 8 p.m., um, they're going to be calling my number. So I got to get out there and do my thing. And that's what I'm focused on doing. I mean, you're saying a lot, but you ain't saying too much. I don't got to say much. We going to fight. I go on got to talk. I'm not really talking to you. You asked me a question. I'm not really. Yeah, gonna... you saying a lot, but ain't saying too much. I don't really got to speak to you. Anthony, for you, with knowing that this is a super middleweight title eliminator fight, your last fight was here in Los Angeles, September of 2019. You know, a loss at the hands of David Benavides. If you're victorious on Saturday, and if he beats Ronald Ellis, you might be able to get that rematch against David Benavides. Do you want, pay attention to that? Is that enticing to you? Don't want it. I want a championship. Yeah. I don't want Benavides. I want a champion. I want a belt. I want to fight for a belt. Not a. I don't want to fight. If it ain't for a belt, I don't want to fight for it. So after this fight, you're looking at you want a world title fight either way. Right. Okay. And I'm not looking. Pa I'm not looking past Kyron. I'm not, I, yeah. like I said. I don't look past nobody. I, I I've trained for everybody the damn same, but he knows what I, what I bring to the table, and the world knows what I bring to the table. Well, now I'm going to turn it over to Kenneth Bahari. If you have any questions from you know the media members, make sure to raise your hand. Kenneth Bahari will delegate as to who is answering or who's asking the questions for both Anthony Durrell and Kyron Davis. Kenneth. Thanks, Ray. Ladies and gentlemen, as Ray said, if you have a question, please click the hand raise icon on the screen. It should be the small hand on the bottom of the frame. We're going to start with Jeremy Herridges. Jeremy, go ahead. Hi, Kyron. Hi, Anthony. Yeah. Uh, first question is for uh, Kyron. Uh, I know a lot of times when we see uh, a smaller fighter versus a bigger fighter, it really comes down to, to hand speed. Based on what you've seen from Anthony in, in some of his fights, do you feel like you have the faster hands? I feel like my hands are faster, yeah. Uh, Anthony, question for you. I know that, that this has kind of been the month of the upset or the year of the upset. We've seen Josh Kelly fall, Josh Warrington. Kind of looking at some of these scenarios, do you feel that that's just part of boxing, or is it a matter of underestimating your opponent or both? I don't know. You're talking to Anthony Durrell. I don't know them people. I'm going to do me as I've been doing me. As far as uh, one last clash question for you, Anthony, uh, you were talking about Chiron kind of adding weight. You're seeing it as him eating up to that weight. What are you seeing or what are you hearing that, that's giving you that indication? I mean, because he's, he never fought at this weight. 
I'm coming down. I'm naturally bigger. And I'm faster. He could say he's faster all day, but I'm faster, I'm bigger. It's a lose-lose for him. He lose. Sounds good. Thank you, gentlemen, and best of luck to you both. All right, our next question is from Michael Rosenthal. Michael, go ahead. Michael, you there? Sorry, guys. Can you hear me now? Yep. Sorry about Please that. Go. Hey, Anthony. Uh, it's hey, for I An Anthony Gerald. Good. Um, now, I certainly haven't never written you off. I thought you were competitive against Benavides, but it seems like some people look at that fight and say, well, maybe Anthony Durrell isn't quite what he was. I mean, how does that, what do you, how do you feel about that? And does that give you extra motivation? Uh, no, I don't listen to anybody. I don't listen to, I don't even listen to y'all, honestly. Uh, you know, I do my own thing. I know, I know what I bring to the table. I know, I know how I train, that if I train the right way, nobody can beat me. So I, I just I, I pay attention to the close ones around my coaches, my my team, and and I go from there. Other than that, I don't listen to nothing. No outside talk. Makes sense. One more thing for Anthony. Uh, I know you guys don't dwell on cuts and that kind of thing, but that has been a problem in a couple of fights. Is that even something you think about, or you just go about your business and you know what happens happens? Nope, I don't think about it. Uh, I just I just fight. You know, it's it's part of boxing. You get cut. Sometimes you get cut, sometimes you don't. Uh, last two fights, I got cut. Uh, but, you know, like I say, it is what it is. You take the wins with the losses. Uh, if you can't take a loss, get out the ring. Okay, one thing for Chiron, if I can. Um, how big is it? This is a big opportunity. But in your words, how big of a chance is this for you? I mean, this is sort of like a coming out, I guess, right? Well, most definitely, it's a big opportunity for me. Um, it's the biggest fight of my career, you know, you know what I mean? I'm just living in the moment. I'm not really kind of thinking about it that way. Honestly, it's more so like, okay, that's another fight, but we got to rise to the occasion. Fantastic. Thanks, guys. Good luck. Yeah. Our next question is from J.L. Curvin. J.L., go ahead. Yeah, how y'all doing? Uh, my first question is for Anthony. So, um... You know, you alluded to that this camp was different for you, and I know that it was one of your longer camps. Being able to train longer, obviously, is going to keep you in great physical shape, but what did you have to do to keep yourself mentally locked in? Uh, just know I got a fight coming up. Uh, it, it was nothing uh, major. You know, you just got to stay a, a little bit longer. I put in a little bit of overtime. Uh, I did that, uh, and I'm here now. And then you, as you clearly said to Chiron, about him eating up to 168. You know, you obviously being a natural 168er, multiple 12-round fights in your career, do you feel like this fight could sort of open up later on in the fight for you being able to use those advantages? Uh, I'm not I, I, I'm not for sure. Like I say, I'm, a, I'm going in there and looking for the knockout. I think everybody knows that they interviewed me before. I'll say the same thing about every fight. Uh, if I don't get it, of course I can go 12. But uh, it, it's a fight at the end of the day. Uh, like I say, him, he, he and I have to get in that ring and fight each other. And, and of course, I'm going to come out victorious. And then I just have one for Chiron. Um, I read that when you first were brought this fight, your dad originally wanted to, like, sleep on it, maybe, you know, just ponder it over. But you wanted it immediately. Uh, when you that's, a, that's a wrong write-up. That was a wrong writer. That, okay. was, that was incorrect information. Okay. Well, good to know. But um, basically, still my question is, when do you feel like, when do you feel like you reached that point in your career when, you know, you felt the confidence to take on a, a challenge like this? I know, I know you've been in the ring sparring with like guys like Triple G and Ericus and Lubin. How do you feel like those experiences sort of got you ready for this fight? Um, I think that my whole life has got me ready for this fight, not just one experience or one training camp or one fight. Um, just my whole life brought me to this destiny. Uh, it, it, it's, just, it's been a long time coming for me, and this is my coming out party.
All right, I believe that's all from J.L. Curvin. Our next question, we're going to go to J.R. Bell. All right, this question is for Anthony. Uh, Brother Anthony, what is the biggest thing that you want to show to the people coming up on Saturday night? Uh, that I'm just still one of the top contenders uh, that I that I never uh, drop. You know, I'm still here. I'm still in contention for a title. Got you there. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take our next question from Ruben Cook. Ruben, go ahead. Ruben, are you there? Can y'all hear me? Yes, we can. Go ahead. All right, sorry about that. Um, Anthony, so my first question for you is just going off, you said you had a longer camp, uh, spending more time working on some things. Do you think this was a necessary step to have a longer camp since you haven't had a fight in a while? No, I was ready to fight uh, before before this. I've been ready to fight, uh, but you know, I think it was I think it was good that we did have a longer camp uh, just to perfect things and get things crisp like we want them. Compared to previous camps and everything going on with COVID, how was this camp different for you? And would you find a lot more that you were able to grow during this camp? Uh, just couldn't go nowhere. That's the difference. You couldn't. You could really do nothing like you usually do. But it's a. It, it was a normal camp. You go to the gym, go eat, and go home. Uh, basically, that's it. That's camp life. Thanks, uh, Kyron. So for you, you were talking about all the physical changes you have with you know changing your weight. And on, you were mentioning that you've been doing yoga, but how have you changed mentally for this fight? You've had a lot of pressure from the media and stuff, but mentally, how have you been able to stay calm and collective getting ready for this fight? It's still a fight. So, I mean, mentally, I mean, I've been good. I've been stable. I've been fine. You know, we just, we just walked in into this moment um, ready and ready to fight. And then lastly for you, what's your drive for this fight? I mean, you've mentioned you're trying to put Delaware on the map. You're trying to uh, put your name out there for yourself in this division. What's your key drive for this fight? Um, it's an opportunity, you know what I mean, to just, you know, put myself where I know I could be. So my drive is just to reach my goals and uh, let everything fall in place. Thank you. Good luck to both y'all. Thank you. All right, our next question is from James Conlon. James, go ahead. Hi, um, just a question for Anthony and Chiron. Um, Anthony, you made a statement during the week. You said, I'm not playing. I'm going to make an I'm going to make a statement. Can you expand on that? It's, it's self-explanatory. I don't need to explain. That's it. You said it. And um, Chiron, for you, um, you basically, you're 10 years younger, you're 26. Um, do you now feel it's your time? Are you going to break out this weekend? Are you going to make, you, are you, is you, Chiron Davis going to be the name to remember in 2021? That's the plan. That's definitely the plan. And just a quick one there for Anthony there again. Anthony, in terms of preparation for this fight, uh, what ha what has it been like the last uh, month or so? Or do you feel you're in the, your best shape of your career? Uh, uh, so, I think I think one of the, one of them. Uh, I, I was in shape for the Benavides fight. I, I'm in shape for all of my fights, honestly. Uh, I don't think one is greater than the other, but this camp was just longer, and and it made me work on a few technical things, like so I can get sharper. And uh, we did that. Cheers, guys. Best luck, Chief Boss. Thank you. Thanks, James. And Ray, we'll turn it back to you. All right. Well, thank you very much to the medium for the questions. And I'm going to get final thoughts from both men. First of all, for Kyron Davis, who gets set to square off against Anthony the Dog Durrell. Don't forget TBC on Fox. This upcoming Saturday night, 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific time, presented by Premier Boxing Champions and promoted by TGB Promotions. 
Chiron is two days away. I always say it, and I always ask it, but in a perfect world, in your mind, how's it going down Saturday night against Anthony Durrell? My hand raised, and everybody's staring at the screen like, wow, hey, we got somebody new. You know, that's what I believe is going to happen, and I'm, I'm going to walk into that. All right. Thank you very much, Chiron. Greatly appreciated. Anthony, the dog, Durrell, prediction time in a perfect world. How does it end on Saturday night? How's it going down? He said he do yoga where I'm going to stretch him out. <laughs> That's, That's all that needs to be said. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Good <laughs> luck. I will see you at the weigh-in tomorrow, and then we'll see you on Saturday night, live on Fox. I can wrap, too. All right. Oh. I'm going. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Thank you to the media.